in Aniara to an Airbnb. We are Hello. staying upstairs here. We're not exactly sure where we're at right here. So we got a code on the door and here we go. The main street. As the morning sun rose, we sat on the veranda and ate our breakfast and planned our next activity, gold panning. Well, we've driven about an hour on these back roads and the GPS of the car keeps saying, danger, unpaved roads. No roads. <laughs> no roads. So <laughs> I think we're almost there. We should be there shortly. There's definitely not a whole lot around us in this part of Alabama. The old Prospector General Store was like stepping back into time. As we browsed around the store, we saw how easy it was to get gold fever. And with some quick directions from some locals, we were on our way. This is Garnet Creek, so we're gonna go ahead and try to work our way around it down there and see if we can find some garnets and gold. Garnets <laughs> and gold. <laughs> All right, here we go. You know this water's gonna be cold. Yeah, it's gonna be freezing. She knows she has a diamond in there somewhere. Gold! I have gold. Somewhere. There's gold in this creek here. There's gold in this creek here. I'm sure there is. Whether we find any of it, that's another question. It takes a really skillful hand to not wash it over the edge. I don't know, do we have really skillful hands? I was gonna say, I don't know that I have that. I don't think we do. Shiny in the sun. It looks like gold if it's gold. But that doesn't look like gold though, does it? <laughs> I found the first piece of gold left. Ooh. Well, I'm not sure that was gold you found in there. Yes, but... it was. Oop, there's another I think Jane's just as happy walking in the creek than is gold panning. There was just something really relaxing about this little cold water creek. So far, so nothing. That one? That young lady looks like a piece of gold. <laughs> I, I think. I think she found our first little piece. Yay! So here you go, you wanna put it in the bottle. Pretty hard to tell, but if you look right here, that right there is what they call a picker or maybe even a fleck. If you have to pick it up with tweezers, it's pretty small. So this is what we use to suck out the little tiny pieces of gold, but because we haven't found any, we're using it as our garnet holder. Which we found a lot of those. Show them what that looks like. They look like little black marbles. They look like little black marbles. Guess whether we're catching or catching, whether we're finding. <laughs> we don't have to find gold. We can just play in the water. Yeah, I, I guess we're doing okay <laughs> with that then. I think we're gonna go up river and see if we can find another place. Uh, apparently there's a place where they uh, have dug out dirt and they have it in big piles so that we can go through that. So that doesn't really sound like as much fun, but we're desperate to find something, so.
We hadn't been too successful with the other one, but we had a good time. The creek was great. I love the creek. Um, but we're gonna try a new spot here and see how we do here. Hopefully we find a couple more pieces. What did prospectors used to do before they had glasses? <laughs> I know, right? Golly. And bright sunshine. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't see like a <laughs> nugget if I didn't have a glass on. You never know, I might be flicking out something. Oh like yeah, I'm sure one of those is gonna turn out to be a nugget. <laughs> After panning in this creek for a while, we stumbled across another prospector that was using a little more of a modern technique, and he let us give it a try. If, you, if it, you're, whatever you shovel in, he gets to keep, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I get a big nugget. <laughs> it's one less shovel for him, right? Big nugget, dear, big nugget. All the way to the top. Cool, that's very cool. So now you know what it is next time we come week if you want to rent one. Got it? Yep. Got a guy named Steve from Michigan? Yes. Michigan, and he's got a high banker. That's that's the technical term, high banker. <laughs> um, and basically he showed us how to use it. Jane messed around with it a little bit. It's kind of cool. It's obviously a lot easier doing it that way than the way we are doing it. Aw, bummer. Really? I'm sad. I thought at least it's okay. I part of it was going to be real. Anything that's shiny or glittery in the water is not real. Okay, so not only did we not find, anything. find it, the gold that we thought was gold isn't gold. So we had to get a lesson by the people here that showed us, well, what you have is fool's gold. Fool's gold. So that's okay. Um, we had a good time, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we didn't find any gold, but that's okay. <laughs> Another adventure completed in our long list of memories that we have made together. And as we watched the sun slowly set on this little town as it settled in for the night, we grabbed a blanket, relaxed, and took in a deep breath of the peacefulness which is small town America. Isn't it funny how just sitting back and listening to nothing can change your perspective on everything?